nations. since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them right here on this ship. flesh. blood coming from the ducks. <laughs> it's not working.
Sort it out. The power still works here. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. not Chris. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But... In 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, 
a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terragrigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terragrigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. Thank you.